So it's all gone wrong. Yeah, our riveting did not go according to plan. Meanwhile, downstairs, I've got to the uh, point of no return. Because we've had truly rotten weather, Um, my panels have just become very baggy, plus they've been out uh, for a season. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take them off and sort them out. But first, I'm going to show you how I made them um, back in Liverpool last year. This is UV resistant thread and the, um, the smallest quantity I could uh, get it in was 100 metres. So what I'm having to do is uh, thread my bobbins and um, use those to um, do my sewing. Well, I started by uh, doing um, a triple zigzag stitch because that's what the, all the professionals use. And one thing for certain, looking at the back of my ass, I am no professional. So I went on to the straight stitch and that did work a lot better. Uh, but the problem with, with the straight stitch, and this is what I'm worried about, is that um, the letters will get ripped off by the wind um, and you know damn well it's going to be windy and stormy out at sea so I'm going to actually uh, progress on with using zigzags and we'll see how that goes but looking at this you can tell I ain't no professional. I've stuck these letters uh, down with a uh, double-sided uh, quilters tape so uh, thanks very much to Free Range Sailing for that particular tip. Um, the only problem is you can only do one letter at a time because um, it, it's just not stable enough uh, to have all the letters um, on the fabric. There it is. Finally all done. I've still got another panel to do. But the salty lass is on. Yeah, so we have the audience. The audience. <laughs> I've just finished our salty lass uh, panels, and uh, what we found was the easiest to do was to split the letters up um, and just do the straight lines, so that we would have it. So that we did that, then we did this, then we changed it, and then we did the straights. It does mean that you're um, having to knot more often, but I did try to manoeuvre the fabric, but it's just so much fabric that when you're on a domestic machine, it just, just doesn't work. So I just did them in sections. And then for the S, we managed to do a big curve and then another big curve. So that's what we did for that. And now all I've got to do is rivet down here. Yeah. Happy with that positioning? Yeah, I'm happy. Right. So it's all gone wrong? Yeah, our riveting did not go according to plan. The first part, the uh, cutting of the fabric, went great. But uh, the problem is, the tool just isn't spreading this out properly. And um, it's just not right. You saw me um, trying to use this fabric one and I was determined it would work <laughs> as you can see <laughs> and I like bust it <laughs> and I still haven't done a pretty thing then I had a little incident another little incident when um, I was asking around and I thought these were punches and <laughs> this guy gave me this lovely punch 
and realised that it was actually for the mast. But I hopefully have now got the right tool. And this is from Draper and it's a brass grommet set. So hopefully this time I've got the right tool for the job. Yeah. There's oh yeah. Oh. Oh, professional no. job. You're going to keep that one out of the cutting room floor, aren't you, Bev? <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> yeah, straight through. Straight through. Out of the cutting room floor. Right, right here. Yep. Don't let go of it. I think you've hammered it flat. And I've just realised something. Apart from the fact I've done it the wrong way round. It's in. Right. Oh god, I've done it the wrong way side. Because yeah. that's the That's the outside you clamp it. That's the good side. Tell you now, this is a good job taking out all your frustrations. Yeah, so as the uh, panels are baggy, uh, what I'm going to do, uh, the solution I've come up with, is I'm going to take them off, uh, cut them up the middle, and sew the two bits together. Meanwhile, downstairs, I've got to the uh, point of no return, because there's my lass, and this is my salty, uh, because the only place that I can actually uh, shorten the panel is uh, by reducing the gap between the salty and the lath. So um, I've cut it. So that means that uh, I now have no, I have no <laughs> gap. It's going to be shorter. So I've got to sew that together again now. <sighs> so there you can see I've taken more or less two inches out of the panel. Um, and um, what we're hoping is that this will reduce the fat, you know, reduce the bag um, because we'll be able to keep it tight. It does mean that my Y of my salty and my L of my lass here is a bit closer together, but I think it'll be fine. Okay, so now that um, I've got the panel removed, uh, this is also a good in time to do a visual inspection of our Dyneema rails. And this is, um, it's been out, out in the field for at least six months. And this is a really, really bad area because this is where it goes through the stanchion. Just here like this. And you can see the kind of chafe it's getting. Uh, so what we're going to do is, um, uh, Bev's going to visually inspect all the lines and... Um, She's going to um, put kind of some kind of, was it PVC tape you decided? Probably. Just probably PVC tape over, at, over these areas uh, where the chafe needs, uh, where, where we're chafing. So that's a little job that Bev will do while I fix the panels. So what Bev's doing is, uh, you're re-slicing the Dyneema, aren't you Bev? I am indeed. Um, this is just so that we can make it a little bit shorter. Yes, so you can see this one here is now. Oh, a lot tighter. Yeah, and we still have got that much room on it. Yeah. Okay, so soon as I'm going to get the sewing machine out, I'm going to just um, look at my little winch covers that I made last year. Well, this year probably. Um, and um, it's just the elastic. Um, it's really degraded. Um, just because UV's like that. Um, so I'll have a look at those. Yeah, so all I've done with the winch covers is <laughs> I've added a, a piece of fabric on the inside and um, my elastic um, goes in between the outside and the inside. Um, I did it on the inside because, as you can see, I've not really fiddled, done much with the seams, you know, quick and easy. Hiya, love. Hiya. 
Filming in production. Saucy. <laughs> You're on. Uh, this is um, ultraviolet violet. Tick tick. This is ultraviolet. All these layers of fabric you put on. Yeah. Oh, you've lost the dead cat. What have you done with it? Out of five seconds. <laughs> Don't leave you with anything. <laughs> Sorry, Bob. I've lost the dead cat. <laughs> <laughs> You're right, pigs here.